hi everyone welcome back to another video it has been ages since i did a what's in my bag video i did it as a student nurse and was mortified to find the amount of rubbish that's in my bag and then i did one when i first started gp nursing as well so i thought it's four years on now just over four years actually uh, i started gp nursing in february 2020 i thought let's revisit the bag and see what's changed since my last visit if i can find my previous video i'll put it here if you want to watch it it's up to you um but this is my current bag it's just a plain black one i know it's a bit dull i would like a nice bright one where do i start so my bag to start with has got a little pocket here it's got inside it's got three sections so you have the back one which is like a laptop type of bit you've got the middle section then you've got a front pocket bit so that is all the sections of my bag also please don't forget to like the video if you've got any comments comment on the video show some love to the channel and all that jazz i'll start with the front and work my way back that seems logical or sides that, that's the only thing i've got in my side is some sort of used napkins so i'm gonna get rid of that <laughs> so yeah front what have i got in my front i've got a pen random phone charger you never know when you need a phone charger i've got tea bags in a bag because i'll have decaf tea um however at work they do have decaf tea so i never need this this is an emergency supply i don't even know if it's still in date not green in furry, so I'm assuming it's okay. I have bubbles. My little badge, oh so a big shout out to um Anne at BCU who works in the library. She made this. What else? Oh, I've got a fidget thing. So you put it on your thumb um, and you mess with it. Another bubble. Apparently I've just got oh, another bubble. <laughs> Why have I got so many bubbles in my bag? Four bubbles. I'm hoping we're not going to stab myself with anything in this bag. I have, oh, 50p. I have two hair clips. This is where they all go. In my bag, apparently. I need a hair clip because this little bit keeps falling down at work, so I have to sort of pin it back. I'm digging deep now. What the hell is that? That's the end of a lanyard. Why have I cut that? How? When did I do that? Literally no recollection of cutting that. I have a little crystal in my bag. I don't actually know where that crystal came from. I have got, in my other little little pocket next to it, a load of these little spot plasters. Because at work they never have spot plasters, so I always have emergency supply because some patients are allergic to the tape. Um, so I have... A few little spot plasters just in case as a backup. I have my name badge and another pin, hair pin. Thank you. I've been looking for these. I have a bit of thread stuck on me. Pulse point roller. If you've not heard of these, these are great. So you rub it on your pulses. This one smells amazing. Essential oils and you rub it on your pulses and it helps keep you calm when you're stressed. Um, I've got a few contact cards for people. I've got a yoga card for someone to contact because I need to start some sort of fitness and another bubble. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Why have I got so many? Why have I got so many? Look at all these bubbles. Like I could open my own blinking hair shop. And oh, 20p. I love it when you find money. And that's that front pocket. So all of that in my front pocket. Hang on, let me show you. Oh no. So as you can see, I have not changed. So I still keep a load of rubbish in my bag. Okay, next. So the front pocket inside the bag, I have... What is that? Like a little rose petal? I don't know how that's got in there, but it's there. I've got a load of books for some reason in the front bit. Let me put this down. I don't know why I'm holding it. Uh, so um, I've been sitting with the diabetic nurses, so they keep giving me a load of books on different injections and things like that. So I've got a load of them in the front. I've got a glucose monitoring diary. Then I've got my little notepad, which is full of 
useful information that I've been documenting that I look at almost daily. We've got a lanyard, which we don't use at work because health and safety and all that. A tourniquet, as just in case. We do have the single use ones at work actually, um, but that's just a, just in case. Oh, good job I didn't stab myself in that. I've got some tweezers in my bag apparently. I don't know why I've picked them up. Some little scissors because you never know when you need some scissors. And that is all that's in that front bit. Middle bit of the bag I have my little, if you know the movie, comment below. And in here I keep a load of highlighters, pens because I have to use colour in everything I write so I remember. I've also got one of these. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. Bonus question for you. There you go. Let me know what the movie is and what the device is. Next, I have my stethoscope. Uh, I love this stethoscope. Oh, I've had this since I was a student and I yeah, still have it now. Uh, it used to be in a case, but the case is too big for my bag because, as you can see, I have a lot of crap in my bag. I have my... Code vaccine card apparently. I'm not sure, sure why, but it's there. I have hand cream. Uh, I'm using Nurse M at the minute because it's fantastic and my hands are really dry. Oh, it's blusher. Why have I got blush? Oh, I've got some blusher in my bag. I'm not too sure why. A hairbrush, which is filthy. Needs cleaning. Another tourniquet. Why have I got all these tourniquets in my bag? Oh, more hand cream. This is just a generic one, just in case. Mm, what? Why have I even got that? I don't know why that's in there. That's going in the bin. I've never used that in my life. I don't know where that's come from. I have a spoon because, well, why not? <laughs> Stop it! Another bubble. If anyone's counting these bubbles, please tell me how many. Right, that is all that's in the middle section. So that wasn't too bad. Now, the last section is where I keep paperwork. I know that much. So this is all <laughs> my paperwork at work. Uh, I have, oh, that's tattoo. Menopause booklet. I'm actually going to do a video on menopause because I'm currently going through perimenopause and it's absolute hell. And there's not enough people out there talking about the hell that you go through during peri perimenopause. So, yeah. Um, I have crib sheets. Uh, this hasn't got any things on it, so no, I can show you this one. But this one's got all the conditions, how long we get, and the uh, blood tests and things. So this is something that I've revamped um, and I've put it as a PDF. So if any GP nurses are out there uh, need it, let me know. Uh, I have my book. I've had this since I was a student, um, and it is just full of everything, everything possible. I have. Oh. Uh, what is this? Vaccines. So I've got some. Uh, oh, travel guide vaccines. So travel vaccine. I have the uh, routine baby schedule. So I always know what babies are due. COPD guidelines. Asthma guidelines. There. Stickers for baby immunizations. And these smell like bubblegum. They're the magic stickers that I give babies. Um, I've got my work contact details and everything, who to contact when, emergencies. So I can't show you that because that is um, confidential with people's phone numbers. Uh, I've got leaflets about diabetes, different insulins and things, different injections, notes from my diabetes training. And I have, this is my induction pack, it's got a lot of uh, good information on it. So injections after we've given them so things like depots who do we task for that to say that we've given it so that they can claim them back paracetamol because i do struggle with headaches however i have changed my diet recently which i might go into in my perimenopause video um which has really helped and i haven't had a headache in three weeks oh paper clip and some more why am i collecting tweet why am i putting these tweeters in my bag and that is everything from the bag so actually that wasn't too bad for my uh, bag check this time. I'm well impressed at how 
much I have improved in keeping my bag clean and tidy-ish, minus all the bobbles and hair clips that I've now took out of my bag. But yeah, I hope that was a bit of fun, just something different. Um, let me know what sort of things you keep in your bags. Is your bag a mess? Is your bag organised? Like, do you find random objects? What is the most random object you've found in your bag? Let me know. Um, but for now, I shall see you later. If there's any other videos that you want me to do, let me know in the comments and I shall try and do them. Don't know when, but it will be at some point in life. <laughs> Bye for now.